Hey, John Cross with Crossing the Globe here. Today we're going to be talking about the Seek Thermal Fire Pro X. Now, I've been a firefighter for going on eight years now, and I purchased this about six months ago. Had some time to use it and abuse it. And we're going to take a look at some specs on it, some pros about it, some cons, and what I think in terms of whether or not you should get it. So let's get right into it, all right? And here we have the Fire Pro X. As you can see, this unit is a pretty small, compact unit. It comes in a bright color, so in case you ever happen to drop it on the ground or set it down somewhere, you'll be able to see it, which is real nice. Now, this unit has some interesting specs about it compared to larger units. It has a 320 by 240 resolution screen, which is very similar to larger units, so they just have a larger screen. So this is a little smaller to see, those are a little bigger. Now, some things it comes with, it comes with a nifty little flashlight with a couple settings on it. Those are kind of gimmicky, but it's always good to have a backup, I guess. Now, it also has a pretty good lanyard made by Gearkeeper, so this is a tough fire-built lanyard. I'm secured to the unit very, very well. I'm not really concerned about it falling or breaking, anything like that. It has a IP67 water rating, so unless you're planning on taking it scuba diving for some reason, which you shouldn't be, it wouldn't work anyways. But if you do, <laughs> It'd probably fail, but in a fire, it would be just about perfect. One of the newest features with it, it comes with a little magnetic cable here to charge and to dock it. It just clicks on right there, so that's real nice. It keeps the dust and debris from getting into any other kind of charging port, so it's a little more protective. The unit itself is built very, very well. Uh, you can feel just by the plastic on it how heavy duty it is. I'm not worried about breaking this or it falling on the ground or rolling down or on the concrete. I feel perfectly comfortable with it. The front's got a Gorilla Glass face piece on it, so that's pretty scratch resistant and pretty tough as is. The unit has a battery life on the website. It says about three and a half hours. I found it works about three hours before needing to charge it again, which is enough for everything we're gonna be doing. And yeah, so let's get into some of the pros I found with it and some of the cons. Pros for the Fire Pro X. The biggest number one benefit I've seen with this unit is just its sheer cost. Now, most tick units, the larger ones especially, like five pound dumbbells I like to call them, they cost thousands of dollars and maybe a department can afford one to put on its apparatus or per station. I mean, just depends on what their budget is if they can even afford that. This unit costs anywhere from a third to a quarter or more less than what those units cost. Uh, even the units you can buy that are built into uh, harnesses now, SEBA packs, that are built into the PASS devices, they still cost three times what these things cost. And this is just as durable, just as good. The resolution, everything on it works great. Just the safety factor of having one of these for every firefighter in your station, really there's not a cost you can put on that, but this makes it possible for every department to be able to have one for every one of their guys at all times. So no one's forgetting one in the truck or nobody doesn't have one, or if they get lost, this can save their lives. Biggest pro is everybody having one of these. We, as firefighters, we know what that is and what it's like to be able to have one of these in our hands. Uh, another big pro, it comes with three search features or three uh, modes on it that you can switch between. What, as you can see here, I just took still images with the tick of our puppy we have and in my condo. It has a search mode, it has a fire mode, and a survey mode. I like that there you can see them sitting on the ground, so it works pretty well even for residual heat or heat that's left behind, works great. Now, I just leave it on fire mode because that's what we do. No issues changing it, can take photos as a pro. Uh, the flashlight's just kind of an extra gimmick. Uh, I'll state some cons that come with those issues later on, but as a unit, to be able to give every one of your guys this, it's, it's worth every penny, and it's cheap compared to others. Now, for some of the cons. Now, a couple things I've found is that this little flashlight on the side can be a little bit of a pain in the sense it's got a button that's flat right here. It's really easy to push to turn on and turn through its uh, functions and turn off. Problem is, when you put this in your turnout coat or bump it against something when you're driving around, it has a tendency to push that button and it'll turn the light on and it will run your battery dead real quick. So I've had I think twice in the last six months I've had that happen and where the unit was dead when I tried to use it. So you gotta have that in mind and remember just to make sure it's charged when you get it and test your equipment every 
morning like we do. So that's one issue. The other big issue I found is taking photos with this thing is incredibly difficult. Now the resolution is pretty good when you're looking at it, but when it tries to take a photo, it, it doesn't have a shutter. It's not like a black and white camera. So trying to take a photo is pretty tricky. It has to be dead still and you have to press this tiny little button right here on the right side. Now, sounds all great until you try to press that button wearing big clunky bunker gear like uh, gloves or fire gloves. That button right there becomes all but impossible to press, especially when your heart rate's at about 160 billion beats per minute and you've been dragging a hose around and you're in a super hot environment trying to keep this thing perfectly still while getting the angle right while trying to press a button with, with your big gloves on it's, it's impossible. It's really something pretty difficult to get any kind of image with it. So as far as taking photos in a working fire, I probably wouldn't be too gung-ho about it, but for use as a tick, just to visualize and see what you're doing, it's amazing. And the only other thing I found that's kind of a little bit annoying, I don't know why it does this, is when a, you plug this into charge, it turns the unit on. And so rather than just charging, it powers up the unit. So then you gotta go and you gotta turn the unit back off and wait for the little battery bars to show up on here that it's charging. I don't know what function or benefit it has to do that every time, but it's a little bit annoying. Not the end of the world, just something that is a little strange I found. Biggest thing is just the photos and that light turning on. Everything else on it is pretty amazing. Final thoughts, I think the Seek Thermal Fire Pro X is a excellent unit. I think it's very, very good for many departments. As far as how cheap it is and how tough it's built and how usable it is compared to even like a built-in one on your SCBA, I think just the price alone makes this something that every department should have for all of their people because a tick can be a life-saving tool. It can increase search time, save lives. And every firefighter having one of these on them at all times just makes your safety go through the roof and your rescues, everything just much better compared to uh, maybe you forget your tick in the engine because it's a big clunky one. Only one person has one because the department can only afford one per apparatus. But having these makes a world of difference. I highly recommend it. Even with those cons and little issues I found and not being able to take photos. So what if you can't take a photo inside a fire? It's not the end of the world. I guess your Instagram page just might be a little disappointed. <laughs> I don't know. But the only thing I would change is just that light because that does drive it, drive it dead pretty quick. But a very good unit. Highly recommend to anyone who's looking at buying this for their department. You will be blown away how tough it's built and how well it actually works. So John Cross across the globe. Stay safe out there and see you on the big one.